Welcome to Advent Devotions at St. Philip the Deacon. We're on December 10th, and Father Grun calls this reading cleansing. John the Baptist called those who came to listen to him to be baptized for the forgiveness of their sins. The practice of being immersed in the waters of the Jordan River as a cleansing of sin answered their longing for purity of life. These people felt that they'd turned from God in their lives and came to experience their sin as something unclean that needed to be removed. Their sins had made them unclean, leaving them stained and soiled. A Protestant minister recently told me that every time he'd been interrogated by the secret police in the former East Germany, he'd afterward felt the need to shower and cleanse himself. He wanted to wash away the filth he felt clinging to him from the dirty tactics the officials used. All of us know something of this yearning to cleanse ourselves from what has stained our hearts. We long for what the monks in ancient times called purity of heart. We yearn for a clean heart that enables us to love without false intentions or ulterior motives. The monks of old practiced purity of heart by refusing to judge others or pass blame on them. I like this sentence so much, I'm going to read it to you again. The monks of old practiced purity of heart by refusing to judge others or pass blame on them. To do this, they had to struggle with their emotions and thoughts, with their passions and desires, in order that such things would no longer control them, and they might come to experience inner freedom. Purity of heart was the condition that enabled them to love without false intentions. Here's today's practice. When you take your next shower, imagine that the warm water not only cleanses your body, but also washes away all that stains your soul. Imagine this water flowing over you as a sign of God's love, which is able to cleanse you of all that's unclean in your life, unkind thoughts you've had toward others, speaking badly of others, which hurts both them and yourself, ambivalent excuses you've made, questionable things you've done. Next, imagine that God's love is not simply like the water that streams over your body. Rather, it penetrates your soul to cleanse all the dust and dirt that has accumulated in your inner life. How might you take concrete measures to act on this? Today, try to avoid speaking badly of others and above all, passing judgment on them. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O God, to prepare the way of your only Son. By his coming, nurture our growth as people of repentance and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.